Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So, few days back, I was uploaded a picture in my community tab on YouTube that was based on completely forest pack inside of 3ds Max and how you can render that in a realistic way. So today's topic is based on that same topic. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. So now we are in my system and this is 3ds Max version 2018 and this is a really stable version. I really love this version but guys 2020 is also released. So now let's get started. So first of all we'll talk about this forest pack. So before starting this tutorial you have to know what, uh, how forest pack is actually work. So forest pack is actually work on your unit setup. So go to this customize and go to this unit setup option and just you can see there's a unit setup over there so make sure guys for basic purpose you have to choose metric to centimeter from any other if you have millimeter kilometer uh, sorry kilometers meter selected then do select the centimeter option and you your unit system setup i mean the systems unit setup should be also centimeter so this is a basic requirement for this forest pack so now press OK here and now all is uh, good to go. Okay, so just I'll show a demo that how forest pack is actually working really good. So the forest pack is can work in a, this path. It's really good. Okay, so just what I'll do, I'll make some like circles, select like this and then I'll go to this one and from here I'll select this it to software and from here this forest pack so select from anything from library so I'm just selecting like a randomly let's select uh, okay let's select this grasses so import selected then just click on this path and you can see this is coming really good so this is the basic way that you can do whatever in this path so guys, uh, this is the only the basic stuff you can uh, using this stuff and make some cool things. Let's delete this and let's jump to our scene. So today we will create a like jungle scene in a forest scene inside of this 3ds Max. For this you have to make a standard primitives. From here you should take a plane and just draw it like this. And but you have to make your this one is a high segment. So just press. A4 on keyboard to view this options. I'm just select from here to this gray for you can see this in a good way. Now make it like 100 by 100. So it's really high poly. See, you can see this. Now select this and press R on keyboard and then just scale it like this. So now it's a really big area. And what you have to do, just slightly like this. And from here, you should take a noise like noise and what you have to do you just have to a little refining so just press F4 and then just start press this fractal option now go to the Z axis and just uh, increase it like this and decrease the scale down like this so now it's feel like it's a roughy surface you can see this it's now feel like it's a roughy surfaces so I need a little more so just scale it slightly like this now go to this fractal roughness should go up slightly and the Z axis is going like this okay fine now this is all good if you don't uh, want too much then increase the scale value and increase the Z axis as well so it will become like this okay so this is also good and the roughness is actually too good actually it's going a little bit hang so make sure whatever you are doing your system requirement should be little little uh, great because I have i7 but you can see that it's still sometimes going stuck so don't worry it's just don't press anything it will become a hang otherwise so just select this and uh, to this roughness down like this now it's just very smooth valley area okay so now our base is done let's go to this forest pack like it to software from here take this forest pro select this and now I'll do like go to this 3d from here you can see there's a 
lots of different different options over there we have so many grasses and all so what I'll do uh, I'll take this uh, forest trees over there so just select this one by pressing control you can select this multiple trees just select this and the last one is last one like this okay this four is enough because otherwise my system will be crash so just press import and then just click over there you can see to use larger areas is recommend to use camera clipping at the render time do you want to enable it i say yes because so there's too many uh, forest trees are there so that's why this option will pop up if you don't then it will not pop up it will take some times to create so when it will complete i'll get back to you so now it's uh, completely done but you can see there's a lots of particles is here and when you press z you can see there's only one tree but guys is not a one tree here is lots of trees are there and see it's the scene is very big so now what I have to do, go to the settings over there. So I'll get that exact forest setting for this. Just select this tree and you can see you will, you can see you pop up with this forest. Now I select this four trees. So just go to down and I have to scale it like global scale for this because I have to scale all these trees together. So just global down like this then press Z on keyboard and then again global scale and it's like this okay fine so now you can do two things like this is a plane so you can add a UV map so just go here and press UV and you can see the UVW under UV uh, W map so now it's a plane so just select like this and just fit fit that this what happened is like everything is inside the, of this uh, UVW map so it's better to create this UVW and now go to this area option and then uh, just scale it little down then you can see the trees are coming uh, together but this is not the right way so what i'll do leave it like this i'll go down here and the distribution option so uh, see my system is stuck again so by using this forest pack you have to concentrate on your system if your system is not good enough i think you should leave to create some but you can use your forest pack but only the little bit areas like you can create some sort of like small trees some small uh, grasses the not huge area say it's come it's not actually stuck it's actually like a, a calculation so don't worry that it's a stucking or something else okay so now see this is a distribution unit you can see there's a 2500 so just i'll decrease this amount and you can see the lots of trees are coming together so i'll just make it like uh, 500 it's good but see it's all together so uh, what i'll do i'll select this plane and i'll increase this plane size like this and now what happened the area is bigger now what I have to do, I have to make some gaps over there because this is completely filled. You can see that there is no gaps over there. So I'll go again this distributor tab where it is. This is a distributor. Now you can see there's a mode. This mode is completely filled. Just uh, like there's a, uh, the mode is like image and the density is completely filled up. So what I'll do, I'll uh, go down here and just go here yeah from here i'll select some density and like use too much too many options over there like random bands uh, lines i list and full is very uh, bad choice because if you select the full your system will become a crash the spread one you can select like patches patches two but i'll select this dense now what you have to do you just go to this first options like go up yep like this now select uh, what happened is not getting stuck here I uh, just select this to any other options to density okay so uh, just select it like this like 850 now it's fine now you can see there's a few gaps are coming but i want more for this you have to decrease all the tree size in a random way so just go to the geometry options and select like first tree 
and then go here down and scale it down like this then uh, go to this last one then like scale it bigger it's not like 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 this then go to this one black one and again scale it like this down and what you have to do is select this area option and you can do one thing just go to the scale little up it's like like, like three souls little up so now you can see there's lots of patches over there you can see some blank spaces here so now i have to adjust my camera so just zoom it lightly like this and uh, what i'll do i'll make this scene it's like a proper way so just press ctrl c on my keyboard now you can see my camera is all set now i have to move my camera uh, to get a proper uh, angle so now select my camera and move it like this and select it over there go down slightly and my camera angle is fine okay so now when you render you can't see anything because there's a no light is there now go to this first one and i'll add nothing i'll just add a v-ray sun so just go photometric to v-ray then select v-ray light from here uh, sorry v-ray sun and just go any other views like i'll select this view and from here just drag and drop like this and what you have pop up the would you like to automatically add a video environment map i say yes so now you can see the video light is all set so now when you render it for the first time uh, you can see there's lots of light over there so just for this you have to change some settings like v-day go to this progressive to bucket and default to all to expert mode i really love to choose this expert mode every time i'm selecting this one now go to this gi and go to this ambient occlusion should on and before press this render i'll just put this angle a little down and then just press render so now you can see our trees are visible this is like a particles but when you render in this way you can see the trees are visible but see there's lots of lights are there the reason behind this is you have to adjust your camera settings so just press cancel and i will show you some camera settings to adjust this option like how to fix this so press cancel over there uh, it will take little time to cancel because uh, all settings will suddenly go start so just cancel it Go to this common option you have to select from custom to sgtv then select this option like camera and select this one and just go up 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 and it's like from here frames to one per second it's like a shutter speed so in, uh, increase it like to 100 percent install this option go to this manual double click press 100 and go up and just here press one point like Eight. so now uh, like 1.8 it's fine okay so now what I'll do select this and you have to go to your render settings and I will show you the previous renders like V-Day start IPR render and you can see that how the forest pack will exactly look like so just a minute it will come see there's a so many lights are going down like there's a no more lights are visible like no more exposure but yes you can see there's a still uh, exposure some because this area is out of my window so what i have to do i have to select this camera and i have to move it inside slightly like this i have to go inside of this view and from here take this camera target and the camera target should go little down so just go lightly like this now it's fine now when you see this from this area you can see it's a perfectly lighted area but but i have to make this more accurate so what i'll do i'll just press stop here and then i'll scroll rendering go environment and i'll do something really interesting which is the environmental fog so just press add over there and you can see v environmental fog press ok and go up and see environmental fog is actually work on based on like environment so select this sky and smoothly like this and the sky is going little down it's actually very high so just going to like this 
now select like in fork distance so you have to make fork distance like 1000 centimeter fork height is like 500 centimeter it's good enough then press on the scatter gi and you can make your this environment a little more like i change this to 500 slightly like 520 it's good and everything is fine so just let's render this scene so now i'm rendering this and let's see what happened the what settings will look like uh, let's uh, change something from here to look like subdivisions should go like 10 is good for smooth then just press render so guys now the rendering will start and um, i'm pretty sure that this frame can be rendered at least at least like five to six hours because there's there so many things over there so many lights environmental fogs everything is there so it will take some not it will take so much time to render so when it will complete it will exactly look like this hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and i think you guys can understand that what i am trying to show you if you have any query uh, please go down comments below and for more further tutorials link is in description don't forget to press that subscribe button likes comments share and if you still not follow me on facebook instagram also link is in description so this is it for today i will see you in my next tutorial till then have fun stay healthy and do whatever you want my lovely friends bye bye